what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here again today so we're going to be talking about some more information that daniel rpk has put out not going to say it's confirmed could say it's more rumors uh what well, daniel has proven himself to be reliable in the past i'm not saying he hasn't gotten anything wrong but he's proven himself to be reliable in the past so it's worth talking about at least coming from daniel so daniel is backing up what i've been saying i've been hearing and that's that filming according to daniel will start shooting in the summer and it looks like it will last until the fall my thing here is this they better hope there's not an iotsi strike if there is an iotsi strike this production could be in trouble and then here's the other thing maybe there's something going on where everybody already knows that the iotsi strike won't won't occur because i feel like sh planning to shoot this movie from the summer to the fall that's just you looking for a final nail in the coffin that's just what that gives me <laughs> so i hope that they are able to shoot it without any hiccups for those of you who are dying to see this movie hopefully they don't run into any hiccups like they did all of last year which is why we ended up in where we are now without melissa without jen and all that stuff that we're not going to get with the core four then daniel also put out that he is apparently hearing that they are casting for two new lead roles two females in the lead role and then one male so three new lead roles i guess one male and they are supposed to be starring alongside sydney so it would appear that they would have some sort of significance to the story just like sydney is obviously going to have significance to the story if we're shifting focus back to her i do want to say this i hope this film isn't too crowded with characters because then you have to worry about patrick who again plays mark kincaid courtney cox who plays gail weathers granted they could be very minimal in their in their screen time and their presence might not be really significant they could very much so just have these characters there while the bulk of the story is carried by sydney and the newbies which i won't say isn't what they should do i think you should rely mostly on the newbies and sydney to carry the story but it would be nice to have a little bit of screen time and a little bit of significance under the belt of mark kincaid and gail weathers if you're going to use those characters once again so who do you guys think is going to end up being cast in scream 7 in these lead roles who do you think the two female stars will be i also want to address this i pray to god that these two female stars are not siblings if they're siblings that's going to come off very shady it's going to come off shady because you just came out of two scream movies hit movies under spyglass's belt where you had two women of color in the lead role and they were siblings not to say that it doesn't matter of course what the skin color is i'm not trying to get it that i'm just trying to put some emphasis on what this could look like to others it could look very shady for you to then take two more actresses and create a whole new sibling dynamic and then put sydney right along with it too that is going to come off shady because you just got rid of one pair of siblings and now you want to introduce a new pair of sisters nah people aren't going to vibe with it some people aren't going to vibe with it they're going to see right through it it just be more obvious shade and attempts to do damage control but i will say this so far there is really nothing for me to be concerned about as it pertains to the usage of sydney prescott because i haven't heard anything that would get me scared about her usage i have heard something that gets me scared for at least one legacy star but i'm gonna wait to hear a little bit more before i start talking about it in depthly i just hope that what they cook up if they are going to be able to get it made which if they don't have to worry about any hiccups with iotsi they're going to get this movie made whatever they cook up hopefully it's not something that is the first major bomb for a screen film you know i i and many others have this assessment if scream 3 is your worst you are doing just fine if scream 3 is your worst you are doing just fine granted i know obviously there are people out there who do not think that scream 3 is the worst but i still think that for the most part the general consensus is that scream 3 is the worst i think it could slowly shift to six over time i just see that being a new norm but i think the general consensus still is that three is the worst so if they are able to produce something that is of good quality i will be honest about it i will not hold it back or i will not weigh weigh down on it simply because it's not doing the approach that i think it should have taken with the carpenter sisters and the dual story with sydney i'll be able to fairly assess what we're giving uh i trust kevin williamson i trust nev campbell it's just the circumstances are not something everyone's vibing with and 
till I sit down and watch the movie, I am going to be a little bit on the fence. But I can also admit there hasn't been anything I've heard that should really allow me to be too concerned that Sydney Prescott isn't going to be given a quality story. I trust that she will. I trust that Nev Campbell is on board for more than just a paycheck. Uh, given how highly she's spoken of Sydney and understands what Sydney means to so many people, I'm going to trust her judgment until I see the movie for myself. Because just because she's on board doesn't mean that what I see for the final product for Sydney is going to be something I vibe with. Doesn't mean that you're going to vibe with it. It's all going to be subjective. What do you guys think about all of this when it relates to Scream 7? I know a lot of you don't want this movie to happen, but it's going to happen. It's unfortunate it's happening the way that it is, but it's happening. Uh, I really don't also think that Hayden will be back. I don't think she'll be back because of the fact that if you're going to have two new leading ladies and then you also have the male star, then you have Kincaid possibly returning, Gail, and possibly a group of friends with these two new leads. I Again, I just don't want the film to be crowded. I, I, I can sacrifice Kirby. So Kirby doesn't need to be back. A lot of these stars arguably don't need to be back, but characters like sydney obviously we know they're going to come back kincaid is likely to be back gail will be back i've also heard that gail weathers courtney cox i should say is executive producing this film not confirmed i just heard that that's what what the case is not just courtney cox but i've also heard that nev campbell will get a producer credit for scream 7 so we'll see how true that ends up being courtney cox i know it feels like that's obviously a lock because she did it with six but nev campbell that would be a big deal for her so we'll just see what happens with that and i will add some clarity on those two rumored stars i said were in talks one again being from cocaine bear the other one from the halloween trilogy from blumhouse one of them if not both from what I've heard, should be playing a friend to Sydney. So, you know, there's already so many different characters that could be in the mix. I don't need to have Kirby tacked on for no reason if you're not going to give her anything really to do outside of just investigating the crimes. Yes, it's simple and you can do that still, but do we really need to see Kirby again if you're going to have all of these different characters that you're introducing, mostly newbies, and then have a whole bunch of legacy with them too? I don't think so because then it's going to weigh down on not developing the newbies which Scream 5 really didn't do a, a, a solid job of developing the newbies outside of Sam and Tara but that's where Scream 6 made up for it. I just don't want to see those same mistakes from 5 carry over into 7 because you want to rely too much on legacy. Legacy characters should not be the thing that are going to push the franchise forward. They should just be there to have a purpose if you have one for them but you need to lean on your newbies so that way it can appeal to a wider audience and that way the fandom can grow but you guys can let me know again what you think about all of this down in the comment section below are you excited for scream 7 are you not excited for scream 7 what do you think about these new rumored details related to filming lasting from summer to fall and about the two the two leading ladies that they're looking for and the one male lead do you think the male could end up being the protagonist or do you think that it's going to just be the two leading ladies alongside with sydney who will carry the bulk of the story let me know all of that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video